I hit to start and then the sneeze already began to build up. And then that's... <laughs> that's just how it gets to be sometimes. Oh my god, it's gonna happen again. <laughs> it's normal, I usually sneeze twice, but oh god. Oh, I need to open up Stream Manager on my phone. Oh my god, all my cords are tangled up. Hey, but I finally cleaned off my desk though, so it's not a fucking depression nest anymore, so that's pretty sexy. I still feel that sneeze coming. I don't know when it's gonna- I don't know when it's gonna happen, but I know that it will. Oh god, I know that it will. I'm gonna blow my nose real quick. <laughs> I don't remember what I was doing. Why is I in C from? I think I was doing a, a little, little delivery, wasn't I? Did we need to actually go to the brothers? I haven't done the brothers yet, have I? Yeah. Two brothers. Oh, let's take the Please. Uh, another day, another fight with the wife over some stupid little thing. I tell you, work's been so busy lately, we're always getting into a scrap about something. Anyway, enough about me. If you got a place to be, let me know and I'll take you there. Carry ten. It's because I got a shield. I know, but like, why can I only carry ten? Army so itchy. I want to explain why my arm's itchy, but I have to find the perfect to do it. So I don't know how much you're allowed to talk about it. The uh. Which, um, hey there, your weapon is ready to go. Great, have it. thanks. 
You know, with a weapon like that... You were going to say? I need to ask you for a favor. Oh, yeah? I want you. That is a rather ponderous favor. It's my mission. It's the whole reason I've been creating these weapons for the past four years. I don't care about money. I only care about making a weapon strong enough to kill those bastards. Sweet. Which bastards? Yeah, which ones? The ones in the mountain. That little Shade and his robot. The Shade has joined forces with a robot? There's a Shade in there? Yes. Pretty sexy. <sighs> and what have we decided, hmm? We're gonna kill it. Yay! Anyways, I happen to get my own IRL medicinal herb one out of two today. My arm is really itchy. I'm really excited. My coworkers are trying really hard to convince me not to get it. I don't know why. I mean, I know why. She explained all of her reasons, but it doesn't make sense, so there's that. When can I take these other paths? I want to go in other directions. Ah! Bah! Fine. Do a backflip IRL. A back... A backflip IRL. What did I say that I wanted to do IRL? I don't even remember what I was talking about. I can't do a backflip. I can do like kind of a half backflip on a trampoline, or at least I could when I was a little baby child, but... I haven't jumped on a trampoline in forever, so he makes my back feel weird. By the way, I re really like your, uh, you, you, your Twitch handle, Dick Force Delta. It's amazing. I really appreciate it. I can do a front. I can't do a front flip either. <laughs> I can. I can jump really high. Uh, I can do a cartwheel. I can do fifteen.
Just go right. I must have been remembered that by the time I fell this room. God damn it. I can't remember anything, man. Living with a machine. What's that about? Don't know, don't care. All that matters is that we kill them both. Yeah, kill them both. found the entrance to our robot friend's hideout. Right. Let's head down. Are you mad? We've no idea what lies below. Beats going the long way around. Come on. drink things out of cans with a tab there, it irks me. Thank 
Street is detected. Scanning. Scanning. Exterminate. Oh, exterminate me. Looks like we found it. Oh, Lord, it's enormous. Intruder detected. Scanning. Scanning. Exterminate. Look at the shade! Look. That thing is commanding the robot somehow. Aim for the legs! Knock it down! Hey. Take out the shade! I can't reach the shade. Exterminating. Aim. Aim. Transform. Watch for falling debris. Look out. Escape. 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 Go. Oh. See the world. Strong enough, right? I wanted to be with you forever. 
Boy, do I love the fantasize. Together, we be alone. We be cry. Okay, weirdo. It's like whatever. You. You stupid machine! You killed my family! You like, took everything again, from me! It is your own fault. Why did you have to be here? Why you? You literally Why? did <laughs> Beautiful. What a perfect example of humanity. In the ball. You done? Hey, come on. That's enough. <laughs> I did it! Did you? Now that this goddamn thing is dead, I can forage wherever I want! Just wait, you goddamn freak! Now I can make all kinds of powerful weapons! Hey, homie. Just leave it to me! Leave it all to me! <laughs> Look, we get it, okay? Yeah, we Hatred get it. and madness will never heal a wounded heart. Maybe it's just all he's capable of right now. Revenge is a fool's errand. Yeah, I know. Do you? Nice. Maybe Popolis found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Yay. Very well. It appeared the creature was actually issuing orders to that mechanical minion. Do you think the Shade had a reason for what it did? Actually... Look, it doesn't matter what a Shade is or isn't thinking. <laughs> All that matters is that we kill every last one of them. Right. Sure. The idea of a Shade trying to protect a robot is goddamn absurd. Still, you guys should be careful. What do you mean? If the shade inside me ever takes over, I'm probably going to attack you. That's not gonna happen. You are no shade. The lad is correct. You are many things, hussy, but a shade is not one of them. Well, Shades, for example, not do not shade. come equipped with such foul and scurrilous mouths. How about I cram your face up your own asshole, book? Don't worry, Kaine. If your shade ever takes over, I'll stop you. You will, will you? <sighs> Thanks, Emil. Nothing? No words from our old friend in Okay. No more kneecaps. Yeah.
On my days off, the wife and I... Anyway, enough. Catch me, but you couldn't. Sorry, I keep forgetting it. Uh, also pause when I switch out of the Oh god, are we gonna find a giant egg? Anything new about the Shadow Lord's key, Popola? You know, I was just going to talk to you about that. Changing. You remember the Airy, right? That depressing shell of a village? Not so much anymore, it sounds like. I just got this letter from oh, the village yeah. chief. Have a look. I thought it would be the boat next. My greetings to you and your village. I hope everything is going well. Our village has shut itself away from the world for far too many years, and we have therefore decided it is time to change our ways. As part of this endeavor, we have resolved to establish a shop within the village. It is now open for business, and I look forward to seeing a great many customers visit from all over the world. With regard to the sacrifice keyword you wrote about, one of our villagers... Well, 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 <laughs> One of our villagers claimed to know the meaning behind the term. You are more than welcome to speak with him on the matter. As part of your visit to the Airy, I hope to hear from you again soon. Sacrifice? Isn't that the name of one of the key fragments? Uh, That's right. I've been trading notes with leaders from every town in the land. You're amazing, Popola. Hmm. This entire affair strikes me as a bit too convenient. I'm afraid Grimoire Vice is correct. What do you mean? <sighs> the Airy has been shut off from the world for years. And now they've not only opened trade routes, but they freely exchange information about the Shadow Lord. I agree. It seems rather unnatural. And dangerous. You're overthinking it. Besides, I don't care if it's dangerous. I won't get Neither. Yona back by just sitting around and waiting. There are shades there. I'll just kill him and be done with it. So true, best oh dear. Well, if that's the way you feel, I guess I won't stop you. Try speaking with the chief when you get there. Go see the chief. What a soul I really crushing love place. That. Fathom that village setting up a mercantile. They must have truly opened their minds. Super, super. Yeah, I have my doubts. Get out of here! No! 
Aren't you glad to be going back home, Kaine? Home? The place is a shithole. True. Don't be so nervous, Kaine. We'll protect you. I got me taken care of. Worry about protecting yourself. It's home to so many oh. terrible little memories, isn't it, Kaine? <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up! I'm like, we're busy here. We do not desire. We do not desire needless conflict. If we can continue to live with humans. Then we can continue to live peacefully. But that young man will come. Was it a shade village to begin with? Yes. The young man will come. He will kill us all. Women and children included. What should we do? What can we do? Uh, hello? We're here from Popola's village. It's all over. Okay. We came to ask about the letter you sent. Our days are numbered. Our village is doomed. As cheerful as ever, it seems. I'll say. You're the one who wrote the letter, right? I... I don't know about any letter. What the hell is going on here? Right? It may be faster for us to take our inquiries elsewhere. Let us ask around. Someone must know something. Yeah, someone's know. This village is finished. I optimistic. I'm scared. Make it stop. I don't know how to help you with that one, Kilo. If you're not ashamed, then prove it! I'm not sure how to do that with working out. There's no point in living anymore. Whatever you say. Shut up! Shut up! I wasn't talking. Jesus, people. Stay away! Get back! What will become of this village? Something else? I already know what will become of this village.
say? The shades attacked again last night. It's over. For us. And for you. Chill, just broke the thoughts. I don't believe in anything. Get with the programs. Who does believe in anything anymore? I'm gonna go from here. Oh, damn. I forgot. Dumb village works. Mira's like, I don't need this. Yay! Pumpkin seed. Everyone will perish. Everyone! Whatever you say. I can make it happen. I'm too scared to trust anyone. That's a valuable lesson to learn in life. Someone oh, must find out. Pretty. You. I know you. Oh, that's great. Glad that you know me. Bye. <laughs> got anything I can buy? Welcome. We've got some new items in stock today. Oh, actually? Come back soon, all right? A letter? Sorry, I can't help you. Ugh. What are you good for? Why not fill your garden with flowers? Ah, but I need fertilizer. I don't think I need it anymore. I hope you grow some real beauts. Like you. My weapons may not be the latest and greatest, but my selection can't be beat. And then I already have them all. Oh. I'm gonna buy it just so I can look at it. Thanks. Oh, it is pretty. It does no damage. Man, I was so tired of holding up indoors. Okay. You're just walking in circles out huh? here now. A sweater. Oh, a ladder. No, sorry. Don't know about that. Cool. Huh? A letter? I don't know anything about a letter. Nice. Make sure you stock up on necessities before heading out to hunt. No. Come back anytime. What about you? You know anything letter, about anything? Huh? Yeah. I think I heard something about that. That's great. So, you know about the letter? Hmm. Maybe I don't. I'm not sure. Ah, which is it, man? Make up your mind. Oh, I'm really so entangled by cords. I don't want to turn my chair. Yeah. Oh, uh, and if I may ask, are you friends of Kaine? You could say that. Ah. I've heard the rumors. You're here to hunt shades, are you? Indeed. Our aim is to defeat every last one. Great. Every. Every last one. Every last one. Everyone. 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 Vice! Beware. This man is a shade. Really? Damn it. It's a trap! You guys sure are taking your goddamn time. A thousand apologies. We were distracted by the local welcoming party. Want some help? A carnival of murder? I love it! Yeah! <laughs> Kaine! The villagers are possessed! But not all of them. Some are still human, so be careful! Yeah, I'm killing all of them. This village is history.
gonna abandon my own sister! Kaine, what's going on? Don't be fooled by this lady. She's a shade! <laughs> one of them now. I don't care what she is. She's my sister, and I love her. are behaving as if we are the villains. You are the curse You are the ones who have died. Kill them! Kill them now! No! You've got to stop this! We're trying to save you from the shades! Please! You have to stop! Emil! We need to get out of here! Kaine! Kaine, get up! Hurry! Oh, the little vixen has finally run out of steam! Is it my turn now? Are you sure about that sunshine? Stop this at once. Leave us in peace! are under attack over there. Damn it, Kaine! You gotta get up! Emil, watch Kaine! I'll go clean up over there. All right! Put down that weapon, please! I beg of you! The book or the sword? I don't really need to put down the book. Uh, it kind of floats. What could those black swirls be? I blame you for all of this! This beast a shade as well. That thing sucked up the villagers. No! If we keep this up, we're gonna kill them all! We can't let that happen!
I feel something from within, creature. Is this the combined power of all those shades? It will take more than a barrage of magic to stop us! The first to waver is the first to die! I sense magic coming from the center of that eye. <laughs> Tentacles appear to deflect magic. You don't stop. Oh, I'm doing so well. No. My final fantasy, no. Smaller enemies has no effect on the leader. Now, focus your magic on the beast's center. Located around the back. Try attacking it from above. Here I'll try to pin it down. Cool. Emil. Emil. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll keep it busy. You should be able to attack from behind. Go around and get it. Please hurry. Emil can handle this. We must circle behind the creature at once. Strike it in the eye. You're joking. You're joking. Are, are you there yet? Yeah. Don't forget. 
It is escaping to the inner level. I'm coming. I've gotta catch my breath. Careful, Lily. Won't help anyone if we lose you here. No! I can't believe I missed! Beat the hell out of that thing! How can it still move? Its combined powers are beyond even my greatest suspicion. His instincts have taken hold. The ultimate weapon is being deployed. Ah, oh, fuck. This ain't good, <laughs> sunshine. Going wonderfully. God, she's so pretty. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. You did it, Emil. You fucked everything right up. Uncontrollable magic. I have to protect the people I love. That was my only thought as I unleashed a magic powerful enough to destroy not only the Shade, but everyone else as well. All of them. So many innocent lives. Destroy, eviscerate, crush, kill. These are the dark impulses that override all other thoughts. As a being that was created to be a magical weapon, these were my instincts. Or maybe it's better to call them. <coughs> Sorry. Ow. <coughs> Sorry. Our instincts. 
A meal stream rampage. Oh fuck. I don't have any water. A klaxon sounds from deep within the bowels of the laboratory. Thick metal shutters drop down, sealing off the room with a series of dull metal buds. A perfect experiment. Number six set of control. Everyone get out of here now. Get out of here. understands their petitions, it pays them no pain. Instead, continuing its rampage of destruction and slaughter. The focus boom. the borders on obsession. After the eternity, the lines fall silent. It will be then as the creature be the same. Sets of footsteps echo in an otherwise silent corridor in the first level of the laboratory. One set belongs to a young woman, his eyes blindfolded and his hands are straight. The other belongs to a severe man. Instead of waiting for him to finish, the 
man extends one foot and presses Emil's face to the floor with a heavy black boot. Sir, stop! You're hurting me! I told you to keep your eyes and your mouth shut, so do it. The man knows this boy. This weapon could wipe him out with a single glance. And yet, subduing him in this way gives him a sense of relief. After making a certain the boy is sufficiently cowed, the man leans down, retrieves the blindfold, and knots it tightly around the boy's quivering head. Right, then, on your feet, let's move. The male staggers to his feet, trying to ignore the red liquid oozing down his face. The blood doesn't matter. The pain doesn't matter. All that matters is finishing the job they had set out for him to do. The second level of the laboratory is an even more shaped than the first. The environs are littered with rubble and rock, making the thought of a decent foothold laughable. And the man's eyes linger on a section of rubble and stain a deep, a deep red. He has a sudden image of a When he attempts to avert his eyes, the line of the remains of a human being rendered into what can only be described as pace. The man blinks. His mind goes strangely blank before attempting to determine exactly how many humans had to be sacrificed to create the scattered thoughts of flesh around him. After a moment, his thoughts simply cease altogether, as if his mind realizes that trying to put such a thing into form is folly. You can go the rest of your way on your own, says the man in a voice much weaker than he wishes it to be. I mean, what does it even matter? You're not even a human. You're a monster. With this, the man spins around and dashes back down the hall. The hopeless man simply listens as the footsteps of his erstwhile captors fade into the distance. The man finds himself alone in the room with the stench of death. The thought of the horrors that await him quickly squashed his plan. Instead, he stands still and listens intently. Eventually, a far off sound reaches his ears. That's the howling of the gulf. Emil resumes walking, using the sound of the distant voice to guide him, almost as if it was calm. By the time that Neil reaches the third level, he is moving on memory as much as sin. His hands and face are covered in fresh wounds from numerous falls, but every time he thinks about giving his mind, giving up, his mind returns to him. his sister. We studied together. We made cookies together. We cried together. We laughed together. And sometimes, I was the only one who got yelled at. That's why I was never lonely. Our being together allowed me to stay strong. For Emil, his sister was all he had to live for. So holding that feeling close to his chest, he presses on one slow step after the other. Finally, Emil finds himself drawn close to a certain experimental chamber in the deepest part of the laboratory. The hollow is very close now, and as he touches the switch that controls the door, he thinks about his mission. Number six is the ultimate weapon. She is his sister. And he must turn her to stone. The door slowly opens, revealing the massive interior of the experimentation chamber. After a few steps, Emil removes the blindfold and slowly opens his eyes. His sister looks before him, but she looks nothing like the girl he once knew. Instead, he sees a savage beast crawling in all through the shredded remains of researchers. As the thing that had been his sister stops and tilts its head in Emil's direction, he focuses his gaze on it. A series of soft, crunching sounds emerge from the creature as this magic does its terrible work. First, the fingers, and the hands, arms, legs, head. But what? What little color the beast once possessed fades to a dull, and yet somehow it summons what strength remains and pulls itself toward a meal in one slow, lumbering effort at a time. Wailing, the massive monstrosity closes in. Is she worried about me? Or is 
keep having to kill me. Neo feels prepared to accept either outcome. After all, this was his older sister, the person he loved more than anyone else in the world. stare at each other. I'm sorry, Hala, but everyone says you're too powerful. This day it's too dangerous unless I steal you away. I'm so sorry. As Emil watches her body begin to turn to stone once more, number six simply waits in utter perfect silence. Again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. In the moment number six's petrification is complete, her memories flood into Emil's mind. The two of them huddling together in the pool, all alone in the world with no one to protect them. All she wanted was to save her little brother. And yet, it was that little brother who, in a sense, saved her. The moment the petrification is complete, Emil sinks to his knees. A frozen sister and a little brother racked with sin. Alone in this cold cave, the two of them weep in a single sigh. Our combined power that destroyed the air. Our own existences, entire lives, us. We took it all. We took everything. My sweet, gentle sister turned into a monster. And the same thing will happen to me. If my instincts as a weapon went out and destroyed me in the process, If it wasn't for you, we'd all be dead. We owe you. But... But I... It's all right. <laughs> really? Don't look back. Crater! to live in a nice big crater in the middle of some cliffs. I actually thought that it would be windy as hell. Yay! We had best be off. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't as hard to read as I thought it would be. Popol has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Maybe. Damn, that's a little shit. Very well. There's a cat hair stuck in my leg. Sorry, I'm trying to get it out. It's like tangled around the threads. I think I got it. 
All right, come on, Supra. Supra, Supra, Supra. I'm gonna name it this. It's really hard to say quickly. <laughs> God, excuse me. That's what happens. You drink the dumb bitch juice, you become a dumb bitch. It's a sad, sad world we live in, sir. Sad, sad world. Let me in. What's poppin'? What's hey, poppin'? Hey, Bubla. Ah, you're back. <laughs> Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, By the but way, it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman with the red bag, right? Well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing. It's boat time! I love me some boat puzzles. Who is a cord? The name is so familiar. This feels alarmingly familiar. Ta. I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Perhaps. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time. Hmm? Yeesh. 
I don't think I've ever seen fog this thick before. Huh? What's that? Okay. It's over. My life is over. What's wrong? Oh, hey, I remember you. You're the ones who helped us out way back when. I also helped you out quite recently. Seeing as we've come all this way, I suppose we had best ask, what is the matter? I had a fight with my husband, and he ran away from home. Mm -hmm, yes, yes. You may color me utterly flabbergasted. Rude, but it's all that idiot's fault. I was saving up a bunch of apples, and he went and ate ten of them. That's actually sort of impressive. Why do you, why is he oh, sure, I, I may have lost my temper a little, but I can't believe he just up and left. He's been gone for a week now, and it's... <laughs> all right, all right. We'll help you find him. Yeah, we'll help. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you so much. And here we go again. Shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Okay. Hey there. I'm looking for the guy with the red bag. You seen him around lately? Really? Is that couple fighting again? Yeah, the guy took off and hasn't been seen since. I take it this isn't a surprise. Hardly. Their arguments are legendary. We're actually considering selling tickets as a tourist attraction. Anyway, I think he's from that village with the library. Maybe he went oh, back home. Right. I think his brother is a guard there or something. Thanks for the tip. I'll see what I can figure out. Say, you're pretty handsome. Care to buy a lonely woman a drink? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm busy. All the way back to the fucking town with the library. Oh. Hard to believe a ship of this size managed to run aground. Right? Hmm, what was that? Hey, is someone there? Okay, I definitely heard someone cough just now. Maybe it's one of those kids from town? But where are they? It's okay. You don't need to be scared. Incredible. To think that couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Seeing people like that puts a little spring in your step, you know? You humans truly are a maddling bunch. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out.
Hey there. How are you feeling? Um... Well, your cough seems better at least. Can Shades even get sick? Check it out. I brought you some bread today. there. Jeez, you must have been starving. Well, look, no one's gonna take this from you, so just take it easy so you don't choke on it, okay? <laughs> so, what were you doing on this boat, kid? Actually, scratch that. First things first. I can't just keep calling you kid. Sure you can. That's a great thing. You got a name? This is going nowhere fast. Let's see. Hmm. Louise. Yeah, what about Louise? Louise? I mean, it just sort of popped into my head, but what do you think? <laughs> Guess you're okay with it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Louise. the southern plains back when the wife ran off too, right? I believe we did, yes. Lots changed since then. So it's kind of nice when we find something that hasn't. The fact that couple is still arguing almost fills me with... I don't know. Hope, I guess. If you ask me, that particular couple could benefit from a little change. to the ferryman who carries a red bag around, right? Yeah, he's my little brother. Haven't seen him in a while, though. <laughs> a shame. Have you any idea where he may have absconded to? Not a clue. Like I said, I haven't seen him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, but the last time I did see him, he said something about using his ferry to deliver letters. Maybe you should try talking to someone at the post office. I guess we could ask the postman over in Seafront. Just once, I would enjoy receiving a quest that can be sold in the general vicinity of the Asuka. You and me, bro, honey. I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's alright to do this kind of thing every now and then. I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. <laughs> Say there, lad, have you ever penned a missive? You mean a letter? No. I'm not big on writing. It always takes me forever to figure out what I want to say. What's to figure out? One simply takes Quill in hand and unleashes their soul upon the canvas of the page. Whatever you say, my son. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh fuck. 
more time again. Hey there, Louise. Say, where'd you get that red bag? Hmm? Found it on the ship, did you? <laughs> you kids are so darn curious about I everything. You could say that. Anywho, it's good to see you. Afraid I don't have any bread today, but I did bring you something. Here, it's a ribbon. Let me tie it in your hair for you. Is she red girl? Is Louie's red girl? Well, what do you think? Pretty nice, huh? <laughs> huh, what's that on the floor? Oh, it's a mirror. Well, that's a stroke of luck. Let's go ahead and check out your new look. If you go over there where it's brighter, you'll be able to see yourself more clearly. Uh, what's wrong? Don't you want to see? Oh, I see. You don't like sunlight. Guess your eyes are pretty sensitive after spending all this time in the dark, huh? That's a pretty logical conclusion. Well, it's not like we can have you stay here forever. We should work on getting you out of here so you and me can go look at the sea together. How's that sound? To see some art, you can find that both on my Twitter but also on my Instagram, also at HokeyWeb, spelled the same. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!